This question will make you dance in ecstasy. We have a circle with an unknown radius. Then we draw a chord like this, and a line which is perpendicular to this chord somewhere here, like this, such that the length of this piece is 24 units, then the length of this piece is 60 units, and finally, the length of this piece is 32 units. Using only this piece of information, can you find the radius of this circle? We will first use a theorem called the chord-chord power theorem. This theorem states that if two chords intersect inside a circle, let us label the sides as A, B, C, and D. The theorem says A times B will always be equal C times D. Now let us draw a line like this. What will be the length of this piece? Label it as M. Look at these four parts of the chord. We can use the chord-chord power theorem here to get this times this, or 24 times 60 equals this times this, or 32 times M. Therefore, we get M equals 24 times 60 over 32, or 45 units. Great! Now we will make this solution super simple by assuming the coordinates of this point as 0, comma, 0, with x-axis here and y-axis here. Also, let us assume we have our center of the circle somewhere here. We do not know its location, so we will label it as P, comma, Q. Now let me tell you about a theorem called the perpendicular bisector of a chord theorem. This means that if we draw a line that is both perpendicular to a chord and divides it into two equal parts, then that line must pass through the center of the circle. The length of this chord is 24 plus 60 or 84 units. Also, the length of this chord will be 32 plus 45 or 77 units. Now let us draw this perpendicular bisector line from the center of this circle to this chord. It will bisect the chord like this, and this length will be equal to 84 over 2 or 42 units. Then let us draw this perpendicular bisector line from the center of this circle to this chord. It will bisect the chord like this, and this length will be equal to 77 over 2 or 38.5 units. Now, this is 32, and this is 38.5, so the length of this piece will be equal to 38.5 minus 32, or 6.5 units. Oh man, what do you observe? The value of P, or X, coordinate of this center is this, or 42 units and the value of Q, or Y, coordinate of this center is this, or minus 6.5 units. Great. Now finding the radius is super easy, as it will be equal to the distance from the center to the origin. So we will use the distance formula. This becomes the square root of 42 squared plus minus 6.5 squared. That is the square root of 1,764 plus 42.25. That gives us the square root of 1,806.25. And the square root of that is 42.5 units. Boom! That's our radius. Let me know in the comment if you can think of any other method than this. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.